So we have a case of a police chief who is actually Dr. Mario, but is actually a criminal. Mamma mia! And that is the former Hartford police chief, Tressa Irene Beltran. And you see, what makes this Dr. Mario with a badge so special is that she has been criminally charged with several offenses that are quite interesting. Hartford's former police chief was handcuffed and fingerprinted this afternoon. That's after officially being charged with a slew of counts, including embezzlement and blackmail. That's why drugs are so dangerous. You really should stop. Here in County Sheriff's Office, narcotics unit served a search warrant here. At the time, we didn't know what they were looking for or what they had found. Pills, Xanax, Oxycontin, painkillers, cigarette, weed, Hennessy, vodka. <laughs> Fast forward to today, longtime law enforcement officer and now former chief of police here in Hartford walking into a court to face criminal charges. Wow, that is Pitch perfect irony. And so this former police chief was caught stealing prescription medications from the Hartford Police Department pill drop-off box at her own police department. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. And now you might be wondering how was she caught? Well, that's a bit of an adventure by itself. You see, for a long time, the prescription drop-off box at the Hartford Police Department collected about 2,000 pounds of unused medicine every year and for a while things went just fine that was until one day someone noticed the police chief might have been up to something suspicious and that perhaps Tressa Beltran had some sticky fingers and those fingers had a magnetic effect when it comes to some of the medications that were being dropped off at the medication drop box foreshadowing that's terrible and so there was an anonymous tip given to the Van Buren County Sheriff's Office about Tressa Beltran potentially receiving and distributing some medications that she may have acquired from the medication drop box at the Hartford Police Department. And you see, that's a major no-no. Maybe we could call the police. These are the police. Terrible. And so citizens had noticed over time that Tressa Beltran was selling drugs to the community from her squad car while in uniform. I need cash, no! Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. How do you do that? That's a pretty suspicious pattern. And she even had someone that was selling drugs for her, but this person was not doing it willingly. And we only know this because back in 2022, a judge ordered that her phone be searched. And when her phone was searched, that's when we learned about a parolee named Hai Kwok Lee. And Hai Kwok Lee was being blackmailed by this woman because this criminal Dr. Mario would send this man text messages that were threatening to lock him up if he didn't sell the drugs. I. I am an addict. I need cash now. And Hai Kwok Lee would have said something, but she threatened to call his parole officer. Then that's very illegal. And it's not like he can just leave town because guess what? She's the police chief. So this man was a prisoner without the bars. Pretty damn bad, huh? That's terrible. It's business as usual. 